Welcome to episode number 548 of this is Bobby Crosby. Road to the show series. I just like saying that. I enjoy saying that. I also enjoy repeating myself often and repeating what I do every day. Uh, I get on my PlayStation 4. Does anybody actually call it PlayStation 4? Let's call it PS4. That might be the first time anybody's ever really called it PlayStation 4 who is a YouTuber who actually, like, gets a lot of views. Uh, I might be the first person to ever do that. And I play, after getting on my PlayStation 4, I plan will be the show. 17. I've been doing this pretty much every day since the video game came out at the end of March. Um, eight months ago, please. Oh, my gosh! No! I had a chance there. Sorry for screaming in your ears, but I had a chance there, but I had to be on the run. But how... Am I supposed to know exactly how high the ball is and know how to time my run? Because you have to be on the run when that last circle... Oh, 380 feet. 380. Oh, what? Okay, that's really short to that spot in the wall. Um, and it's raining. I should be robbing him running in the rain. That'd be awesome with the rain pouring down as I'm jumping up and the rain hits my glove and I catch it. Um, catch the rain and the ball. Yeah. Throw that ball right over on plate. Worry about me. Don't worry about that runner. That runner is pointless. That runner means nothing when Crosby's at the plate. Because he can do this every time. Ground into a double play. Every time. Out by four steps, even though I'm fast. Um, you're laughing at me. And uh, I deserve it. I deserve to be mocked. Do I hear gardeners? I hear a plane, I think. Uh, I call planes uh, motor planes, just like I call cars motor cars, because I'm weird. I'm dumb. Great play, teammate number 32. I haven't yet learned this guy's name. I guess it's Riley there, but I'll forget it. Uh, in the locker room, I just call him uh, 32, or sometimes 31, because sometimes I forget what his number is. Um, but I kind of recognize his face, and I kind of know that he's my teammate. Uh, okay, that's a single. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh my! Can I dodge this? Sorry, sorry. All I had to do was keep going back to first, but I didn't know it was going to be a horrible errant throw. How am I supposed to know that? I don't. I'm not Nostradamus. Look up Nostradamus if you don't know who that is. Uh, come on now. That can't, it's not robbable. So I go to my hidey hole, talk to my friends over here. I missed the hidey hole. I can't even get to my hidey hole. This is a bad start. I haven't even hit home run yet. All right, we're home ring now. We're home ring right now. We're down by three. The rain is pouring down. And gone. Gone. That's what I needed. That's what I absolutely needed. That's 390. It's 390 feet. Um, right? Yeah, that's what I believe. That's what I believe. I have faith in this guess. 390 feet. 390. 390. 390! 16 feet off. Not remotely close, but it's a close game now. We're down 6-5. to five. Joel Pereira batting in the 7th. The Royals have scored 7 runs in this game. Tigers have only scored 5, so that means we're losing. I'm good at math. And I've got that, I've got that, moonwalk, moonwalk. Ah, uh, barely even did a moonwalk. That was like half a moonwalk. Okay, okay. I gotta get it together. I gotta get it together right now. Bottom seven, nobody on. Once again, I can homer to get us within one run. And I did. Gone. Gone. Oh my, just a laser down the line. Reminds me a little bit of Mark McGuire's uh, 62nd home run. Or no. Yeah. Was it his 70th or his 62nd? That was the line drive right down the line. 351. 351 feet. Oh, what? Okay, 388. Wow, my memory's going. I mean, this was 19 years ago, but this was so huge. And McGuire was chasing the record and Sosa. And boy, I don't, man, my memory sucks. Uh, tell me in the comments if it was number 62 or number 70. That was the line drive right down the line that only went like 330 feet. Um, 
The record breaker was... Yeah, 62. Because he was running hard. He was running hard on 62. He had he missed first base. He had to go back and touch first base. See the bat spinning around in his hand there on that replay? Ah, there it is again. That was funny looking. Um, Yeah, yeah. 62. Yeah. Uh, it was against the Cubs. Sosa was there. McGuire kind of picked up Sosa afterwards, which I didn't really like. Moonwalk, 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 catch. Sosa was a great sport about that whole thing. Um, it's kind of sad to think that they both were um, probably kind of uh, doing things they shouldn't have been doing, but uh, that, that was just the game at the time. And uh, it's, it's, it's mostly all cleaned up now. Oh, I have to catch this. I have to catch this, and I did. Thank you. Okay, now get me up bottom nine for the walk-off. Here we go. Here we go, walk-off. End this game in great fashion right now. Crosby with nobody on, so I can tie it. Okay. Leading off the ninth, so of course nobody's on. Gone! Oh, that's 512 feet. In the rain, 512. I'm going to call it 512. I'm really not sure. But I'm going to stick with 512. It's my favorite three-digit number because on May 12, 1998, I caught my first ever game home run. Raul Mondesi off Kurt Schilling in the rain at Dodger Stadium, front row. It's been almost 20 years since I got my first game home run. 512. 512. 452, 60 feet off. One of the worst guesses I've ever had. No, but we won because fireworks. Okay. I wasn't responsible for the walk-off, but I was still the player of the game. Crosby. How many innings did it take? I'm going to say 10. I'm going to say we walked it off in the 10th. And we... Oh, no, 9th. Like, next batter probably scored or something. Yeah, it doesn't have to go extra innings. So, yeah, yeah. All right, let's play another one. This game is going to be significantly better than the last one. Um, they just said nighttime baseball on tap, but it's... Well, it could be like a 7 o'clock start. The sun would still be out. Yeah, but it, that looks like a like a daytime. Oh, yeah, shadow's going like that. Yeah, it's a night game. It's a night game. Or it's possible it's like a 5 o'clock game with shadows going. Um, not sure. I've always wanted to go to a game that starts at midnight. I thought that would be cool. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to go to a game at midnight. Um, and then let's start a petition to get a game at midnight, and I'll go to it. I don't care where it is. If there's a Major League Baseball game that has an official start time of midnight, I'll go there. I'll travel 3,000 miles if I have to. I want to be at that game. I just think it would be cool. And that is out. That's the first time I've ever seen that, I think. That there was a pitch out, got the guy out, trying to steal when I'm batting. That guy should be um, kicked out of baseball. He should be blackballed from baseball. He should just not be allowed to play. That's gone. It's 382. Gone. It's farther than 382. It's 389. 389 feet. But you tell me. You tell me, uh, Charlie. What do you think, Charlie? Uh, Charlie, what do you think? Say it out loud. Right now. Say it out loud, Charlie. 392? No, I stick with me. 389. 389! Okay, I was closer than you, Charlie. You were six feet off. I was only three feet off. I am a better guesser than you today, Charlie. Maybe not every day, but probably most days. Um, season's almost over. It's like September 4, I think. So go ahead and give me suggestions. Moonwalk, moonwalk. And uh, give me suggestions about what team I should go to next. I'm very curious about that. And if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments. Uh, I want to know that. I'll be on a new team in probably um, 8 to 12 episodes, depending on how long I go in the playoffs. Something like that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How far, though? Not very far. That's 406 is my guess. I keep thinking I hear, like, Star Wars noises. Um, like the sound of, like, the big old cannons being fired from a battleship of some sort. 406, 406, 411, five feet off battleship. Uh, Star Destroyer, something like that. Okay, okay. I'm excited about the Last Jedi, Star Wars Episode Eight. I'm excited about the base being loaded right now, but I don't have time to sing the song. But it's still a grand slam. Get out. Get out. No. No. 
didn't even get a second base. I'm glad I didn't sing my song. Because whenever I sing the song and I don't have the Grand Slam, it just, oh, it makes me sad. Makes me sad as if I just saw a puppy get injured by, like, falling off of bookshelf. Oh, um, that was a weird thought. Moonwalk. Moonwalk catch. And catch. Uh, in yesterday's episode, I think is when I mentioned... Um, seven inning stretch is about to happen. Uh, yesterday's episode, I mentioned wanting that sound and that sound to be like a sound when I get a text message or something. I think that would be cool. Um, and I'm thinking about doing that. I'm looking into it. I'm thinking about doing that. And yeah, it's too high though to be crazy far. It's only about 430. Yeah. That's 4.30. On the button, 4.30. That's what I think. That's what I think, anyway. Uh, but what do you think, Jack? Say it out loud, Jack. You think 4.28? No, I stick with me. 4.30. I want to get this one. 4.30. It's closer than you, Jack. You were 6 feet off. I was 4 feet off. Why are you guys always 6 feet off? I don't know. We're going to play one more game. Colorado is visiting uh, Detroit now. The Rockies. I want to go to Colorado, though. I wish that was happening this year. So I could uh, hit the ball incredibly far in Colorado. That's where I had my 602-foot home run, my farthest home run. Um, I want to top that, though, before my career ends. But I don't know. I'm, I'm probably out of my prime now. Probably two, three years ago was my prime. Where is Oh, it's gone. That's where it is. Oh. You know what? I'm going to call this deep. It doesn't look like it's crazy deep, but I'm going to call it 458. I'm just going to call it 400 and... You know what? Farther. I'm going to call it 469. When you hit it to that spot here, for some reason, they call it really far. Even though it appeared to barely get over the wall. But I'm saying 469. Okay, I almost changed it to 464 at the last second. I wish I did. Two feet off is the second best guess you can have after being exactly right. One foot off is the most painful torture that's ever existed other than most of them uh, there are some bad tortures that people have invented in real life actually that are worse than being one foot off when walk when walk when walk when walk catch uh, but it's a fairly painful experience still mentally you know not physically but it just um, it's tough on the brain to be so close to glory and losing it it's like winning the silver medal after training for a billion years uh, in the Olympics and then you Barely get silver, uh, like a hundredth of a second behind the winner in the 100 meter butterfly, which was always the event I wanted to enter. I mean, I trained for a while, 100 meter butterfly, um, but I was more of a long distance butterfly man. Um, so the 100 meter was my dream. Uh, I was more of like the one mile butterfly. Uh, that's what I would have been good at. But then I got out of shape, let myself go, and they uh, never actually had the One Mile Butterfly event in the Olympics. So I never had a shot at that anyway. Uh, stole that. Stole all that safe. Yes. <sighs> wonder how many of you think that I actually was training to be an Olympic butterflyist. Uh, not sure. At least 12 of you. Something like that. The smart ones. Because it's all true. It's 100% true. Uh, Mitchell Lavelle, I believe? Lovell. Okay, just like Jim Lovell. Look up Jim Lovell. Uh, cool story about his life. Uh, Heidi Hole. Couldn't really get to my Heidi Hole in time. That just barely cleared the wall, huh? But they didn't show me the red circle, so I guess I didn't have a chance to rob it, even though it just bounced off the top of the wall, I think. All right, down by one. Bottom five. Um, bottom five. Yeah! Gone. Guess this, guess this. Look carefully and guess it. I have no idea. Whenever I hit it to left field in this park, I have no clue. I have no freaking clue. It's going to be a total guess, and I'm going to go 409. No, I'm not. I'm going to go 416. No, I'm not. 411. 411. 411. Hit me with the 411. Hit me with it. 419. Okay. Eight feet off. Not too bad. Not too bad. 7-7 uh, seven, seven time. The seventh. Illuminati. Confirmed. And... Not gone. It's caught. 
That's caught. Freaking caught. Okay. Uh, give me up for walk off. No, Gene Regan up top nine. I am gonna have a walk off chance. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm gonna have it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. We're gonna end this episode on a high note. And like it could sell. Okay, now get me up. Get me up to do my thing. There I am. Bottom nine. Nobody on. Two outs. All the drama in the world. And gone. Get out. There's a tall wall there. No, oh, no. Get over his head. That's a triple. That No, it's not. Okay. 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 Stay right there. Oh, my gosh. Missed the homer by a hair. By a hair. 250th hit of the season. That's a lot. Two outs. I shouldn't really be stealing here. Don't do it. Don't steal. Okay. Single. Double. Oh, foul. That guy missed being a hero by an inch. All right. Full count. Let's do this. Let's do this. Gone. Oh, that's all right. I got excited. Got excited. Uh, it's out of play, right? Thank you. Okay. Uh, second baseman ran an hour trying to get to it. Don't pick me off. Come on. No! You serious? That was garbage. Give me a bottom 11. Don't just say it's over. Okay. Top 10. Let's throw a guy at home. Let's throw a guy at home. He's getting, this, uh, getting a single over number 22's head, and I throw him out at home. He did hit it over 22's head, but 22 has it. Okay. Now give me a bottom 11. Oh, thank you for tipping your cap to me, Cole. It's over. We won. Good. If you like this episode, the like button. We want to get 1,000 likes for this episode. 1,000 likes. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Tell your friends about these videos. You know what I want to see you in episode number 549.